Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said no, unwise is asking Prince Andrew for a personal reference. Oh, hello, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? I have got some news about a music star that has returned to music. Oh. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> Returning to music. From music. From music. Yes. Oh, okay. On the screen now you can find all the ways to get in hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The Cud.tv is our website and on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented on any of our social media posts, scroll along the bottom of the screen. It's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> You don't like a festival, really, do you? No. Not big on festivals. I'll watch them on television if I need to. <laughs> uh, well, this is a festival you might be interested in, but you wouldn't be allowed to go to. Oh. Mm, because it's the International Kyle Festival. Oh, OK. Which is held in Kyle, USA. OK. And every year it's an attempt to try and get the most n number of people called Kyle. Oh, can you <coughs> think of that, babes? <laughs> A bit of Kyle. Um, <laughs> stuck in the back of your throat. I know, it's not usually straight down, but this time it's stuck. Um, this is a world record attempt um, to have the most people called Kyle mm -hmm. in basically a field at a time. Okay. Oh, so they'll okay. get a white t-shirt with the um, phrase, hello, my name is Kyle, written on it. Okay. And they'll turn up and go, hey, my name's Kyle too. Do they all have a lovely glass of Kool-Aid? A lovely glass of Kool-Aid. Because um, it looks a little bit cultish to me. <laughs> Kool-Aid is not a cultish thing. Yeah, it is if it's laced with uh, <laughs> something that they go to the planet cult, cl planet cult, the planet Kyle. Okay. Came out through. Um, is yeah. it just for male <laughs> Kyles or it. is it for female Kyles or any gender Kyles? Any, anyone called Kyle can go. Is it? Does it have to be Kyle or could it be Kyle no. Lee? No, it can't be Kyle Lee. It has to be Kyle. Oh, okay. So yeah, they've not, they've not said you have to be male. They've just said you have to be called Kyle and in Kyle. Wow. So yeah. Thrilling. Is um, this Kyle, uh, um, is, it, is it one of those names that's dying out? It's not, no. It's, it's got a resurgence. Okay. So, yeah. so why then? Why? Um, because when I first saw the story, I thought it was Kylie. Oh, okay. I got really excited and I went, oh. Oh, no. so. But yeah, because I thought you'd enjoy that. You know, 1,490 Kylie's. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a Saturday night. Yeah, exactly. But mm, well, well, I hope they all enjoy Kylies, themselves. That number of Kylie's, we should be so lucky. <laughs> Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that joke's bad. <laughs> Moving on quite okay. quickly to a story about a man who's had an, an unfortunate incident in the bedroom. Has he? Yes. You ever heard a noise and gone, oh, I wonder what that was? Well, in for grante. In what? In for grante. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, because my senses are so, so in tune in that moment of, of sexual arousal and fulfilling that every need. <laughs> of my partner that time and space stops. So no. <laughs> How long does this time and space stop for? Kind of like the nanosecond. A nanosecond. Yeah. Okay. Like being in a... Feels longer though. <laughs> about being immersed in like a, t a tub of water floating away. No, I didn't like, I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> then having to have a poo afterwards. <sighs> <laughs> um, so this is a story about a man who, who basically, he, he was at an interesting angle and his penis hit his partner's perineum, or smelly bridge, as it's also known. <laughs> what? Don't say that. What? Don't what else are you going to like call it? like it. It's your taint. Your taint? Yeah. yeah. I like smelly bridge. It sounds better. Because otherwise it's tainted love and that's just, yeah. <sighs> anyway, um, he broke his penis in three places. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, it's not a physical break, but he heard a pop. Ooh, was he? Was he? Was he? Um, was it a hammering was, at it? Was it, it was. a vaginal moment or was it a was it an anal moment? It was a perineum moment. It missed both. Was he? Ha was he making love to a woman? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to make that. <laughs> okay. Why? Because gays can't hit the. No, perineum? I just was just because I, I was just I was just mentally in my mind tried to work out where the so, penis yeah, was aiming for and yeah. they missed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So I, I take it it hurt. How's the mental picture of a vagina for you? It's not good, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's my ed predator. <laughs> yeah. But you know, that's where life becomes. Lot belongs, be comes from. A lot of the time, not all the time. I'm saying things that I need to stop. <laughs> <You are. laughs> 
All those words fall out of your mouth. Just let you go. <laughs> yeah, the hole's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, <laughs> mm. <laughs> maybe if. Um, so, yes. So, back to Broken Cock. <laughs> Broken Cock. Is that a movie? Um, <laughs> but, yes, he heard a loud snap pop noise, right? And, okay. and I went, ah, ah, ah. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Um, went to the doctor who strapped it up. Did it, did it, did, did he, did it look weird when it came out? Well, it didn't go in anywhere because it hit the perineum. So he didn't even go in anywhere. He was, he was going in places. He was about to thrust it in. He, he had been thrusting in at, so we say, some force. Okay, and, and then, then he pulled all the way out. To I thrust to back, back in, in and just missed, missed and hit her bum hole. Or no, the missed, area around missed, her. Hit the smelly bridge. Okay. So missed all holes. Hit solid. Oh, Basically, okay. he was driving 30 miles an hour and rammed into a wall. Okay. But with his cock. With his cock. Yeah. Um, which caused an issue. He's been told he has to lay off it for a while. <laughs> did it, <laughs> Did it like, a concertina down? <laughs> like an airbag like a, like a Like a canton <laughs> can when you stand on it. Did it go yes. like that? Just for you, know. yes. How do you... How do you... <laughs> <laughs> how do you um, repair such an injury? Is it just time? Time heals all wounds. And, and a splint. And not, not getting an erection. <gasps> oh no, you'd be f then, wouldn't you? Luckily. <laughs> well, I hope his Johnson gets well soon. <laughs> do you want to kiss it better? No. No, okay. And if you want to kiss a penis better, you can do at the Quid TV on our social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. It's a story about body modification. Oh. Um. Um. So remember a while ago we talked about the gentleman who injected oil into his body, mm. made himself massive, and then died. Yes, sad. Yeah, that's quite sad, yes, but sad, sad. also his own fault. A little bit funny. Yeah. Um, well, this is a, a gentleman who is regretting his body modification. Let's see. As he has been injecting his arms, biceps, with Vaseline for years. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Um, and it looks like Popeye. <laughs> so that's him. It's not just his arms he's oh, been no, injected, he's had, he's had, isn't it? He's had work done. He's had a lot of work done. But his main focus was his, um, what some people call their fadubba dubbers. They look like the bingo wings <laughs> of an 80 year old woman. Yeah. That's what he's, he's ending. I and mean, if that's luck he was going for, well done. It wasn't. So no. he's the, the picture on the right way, he's got his big bulgy thing, was what he was aiming for. That was what he was aiming that's for. That's what he was aiming for. And he got there and then kept going and whoops. It moved around because it was vastly, it's not solid, so it moves, so mm. it's leached down. And it's also not supposed to be inside you. No. Um, he's currently had um, 13 operations to remove the Vaseline. <laughs> it's caused lots of damage. Well. And he's still like that. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to say I feel sorry for him because I don't, because do it's not? just, you know, there is nothing. <laughs> Did he, did he, is that a morph? No, that's his arm. That's generally what his arm looks like now. That's not what it did look like when he first started doing it. Oh, and he was like, oh, I like that look. Yeah, yeah. I I'll... can't imagine that would have felt particularly like a muscle. Well, muscle when it's not flexed is quite soft. I don't have any, so I don't know what. Um... <laughs> I do all of my muscles. It's always <laughs> relaxed. I cannot tense my muscles. Why? Well, I mean, <sighs> the, the skinny chicken forearm. Yeah. It's like, well, there's, there's just so like many things to unpick there, isn't there? Popeye. Crossed with someone with too much time on the hands. And and did he do this to himself? He did that to himself as well. Is that Vaseline as well? No, no, no. That's that's actual cosmetic surgery. Oh, so he didn't do he actually inject it into himself that himself. No, no, no. He, he he basically paid for someone to do that to him. I can't imagine that Vaseline is particularly easy to inject into yourself because it's quite viscous. Why oh, that word? Viscous. Do you? Ooh. Viscous. Ooh. But it's not. It's it's not something that you can just kind of go get a syringe, warm. and then does it cool? Yeah. And then turn into that. Yeah. Whoa. But okay. mm, mistakes were made, I believe, because he, he said so himself. It was a big mistake. He didn't stop himself, though, did he? He, he stopped now. Where is he from? Where do you think? America. No. No. Actually, no Russia. Russia. Oh, Russia. OK. Yeah. Not Soviet Russia. Just That's, Russia. Just, just Russia in general. Just Russia. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, it's always very sad when people think that they have to do these things to themselves. But there is no way on, on, on Earth doing that to yourself. You think, this will work out OK. <laughs> Well, Eventually, yeah, everything will be right, be fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's caused massive damage to his arms. Uh, well, well done, not, well done. Not even just the stretching of the skin; it's actual muscle damage and stuff. I would so imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's broken himself. He has broken himself. But on the plus side, uh, when it's all been removed, he can um, he can hire himself out as kind of like um, 
one of those wavy arm things. You know, the ones that you see <laughs> at the side of the road. It's like, woo! Advertising cars places. Yeah, on his, on his bingo flaps. Yeah, or he could advertise himself as the human flying squirrel. He, yes, he could indeed. Yeah. himself off buildings and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, you Less. know. Mm. I think I think we'd like to keep abreast of his updates. Abreast of his updates? Yeah. Is he on social media? He is on social media. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think we might follow him um, and see what he gets up to. Choices. Yeah, they made a lot of choices. Uh, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you for that, Mike. I'm just going to put in an order for an industrial vat of Vaseline. Or playing on fisting this weekend. But uh, stay around because next we have Lee in the showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Are you a fan of the musical recording artist slash actor, Janelle Monet? Am I? What, what have they done? They were in um, Glass Onion Knives Out recently. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, Award-winning LGBT plus trailblazer. Mm -hmm. Musical musical artiste. I, I, there's one song that I really like, but I can't remember it. That good. But I do like it. Yeah, yeah. So they're back. Okay. With back on the music trail. All right, okay. And um, they have, um, they're, they're, so they've got a new album coming out, The Age of Pleasure. Oh. So that kind of gives you a vibe. It's going to be a little bit sexy. Mm -hmm. We've got a picture of Janelle here on, on the recent copy of um, cover Stone. of Rolling Stone magazine. Looking, I have that wig. Why am I not surprised by that? Mm, yeah. Well, when you say you have that wig, why do I have the feeling that you have a version of that It's wig? a mop that I've sprayed wish. gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, five years since our last studio album, okay. Dirty Computer. And um, this is a cover okay. of their album. This is a shot from the music video. So there's... There's a lot of new data. Oh, the music video is... is Oh, all hands are naked. And so... I'm, I'm left-hand side cover of that album. Mm-hmm. I can see a little pointy bit. You can see a bean. Well, the outside of the bean, I can't mm. see it. Yeah, well, they have released kind of like a teaser track called Lipstick Lover. Oh. And this is a scene from the, from the video. The thing that's made me really laugh about it is, is that... Um, Janae has shown their mum this video. Now, the video is very racy. There's lots of bums, there's lots of boobies, there's kissing the ladies, kissing the ladies. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff going I love on. the way that you started off racy with bums. <laughs> bums! Um, it's all about black bodies, sexual liberation, and unapologetic pleasure. So, Janelle posted on Instagram mm -hmm. showing the video to their mum. Yeah. And... Their mum's reaction was hilarious. So mum kind of watched it mm. and was like, that's cool. <laughs> um, um, only thing, <laughs> are you going to be able to show that nude booty all the time, like on the YouTube? I love the YouTube when person puts the in front of something, the Twitter. The Facebook. The Facebook. The YouTube. The internet. Well. <laughs> um, the porn hub. The porn hub. Um, Janelle responded by saying that YouTube has allowed the music video and asked their parent for more of their thoughts. Um, this is Janelle and, and their mum there. Um, their mum goes, well, it would be nice if you had a man butt up in there. Mm -hmm. It's just that we know, you know, versatile. <laughs> it could be a man or a woman. And then Janelle replies, oh, wow, okay, uh, yeah, that, that's right, uh, them or they or whoever. So Janelle's mum, it was kind of saying, it's a nice song. If people don't get hysterical about the booty, so bad. If they just listen to the lyrics and the song, you're going to go triple golden. I love how, like, a pop star's parent is, like, critiquing their child's video and going, mm, too much ass in that. We <laughs> need a little less. Um, I think Lil Naz's parents say about... Can you imagine? <laughs> so good. Um, I like the idea of the music video, son, but doing cocaine. Mm, off, off, off Satan's dick. No. Mm. Uh, Did that actually happened? Probably. Um, Are you not getting confused between the fact he did cocaine on one of the songs and I don't know. a RuPaul drag race? I don't know. Um, 
their mum said, I was just hoping the big booty would go away for just a second. <laughs> so, yeah, everyone needs to go and look at the video because, the you know, whether you're into the, the female booty mm -hmm. or not, you can appreciate it in all its <laughs> good deliciousness. Okay. Mm. Let's move on now. Okay, let's. Let's move on. Elliot Page. We okay. haven't heard from him for a while. He's we kind haven't. of gone to kind of ground a little bit. Did to the kind Umbrella of... Academy and went, right, give me some space. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're back now and they are coming, um, they're, they're coming out with their biography. Oh. So, he's announced his memoir. It's he originally announced in February last year mm -hmm. um, and it's now ready to be published. So, it's all about his relationship with his body, his experiences as one of the most famous trans people in the world and his mental health. Um, stuff around his relationships, sex, and the cesspool that Hollywood can be. Mm -hmm. So we've got a picture of the the that's the cover of the biography. Now it, it it's just looking good. It reminds me of I think it's designed after kind of one of those like seventies kind of pin up magazines. I think it is. It looks like that kind it's of giving, honcho type. It's giving me. Uh, are you thinking Tommy Finland kind of vibe? Dean, you, you, you used to buy a show, didn't you? Back in the 70s. Man Butt magazine? No? Okay. Um, no, it's giving me that whole um, 90s Luke Perry 90210 kind yeah, of vibe. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of... Um, who was the, who was the um, movie star from the 50s that died in a car James crash? Dean. James Dean, a little bit of that. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's arrived. Mm -hmm. um, they, they've gone on Instagram to kind of unbox the first shipment of books. First release. Release. So it's going to be called Page Boy. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's in full of intimate stories from tracing, chasing down secret love affairs to battling body image to struggling with familial strife. It's a love letter to being seen and lyrical. It, with his evocative and lyrical debut, that's this is like all like book company speak, kind okay. of like blah, 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 blah. The blurb. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, no, not blurb, blah, blah. It's called a blurb. Blurb. Blurb, blurb, blurb. 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 Yeah. So it's a book about his life. Um, and to, to kind of support it, he's actually coming to the UK. Now, he's either just about to come to the UK or he's just been in the UK. Okay. One of the right, other. Push, push there then. Yeah. It's a surprise. Um, so he's doing two dates. He's doing one in Manchester mm -hmm. and he's doing one in London. It's the, it's an evening with Elliot Page to kind of tie in with the book release. So he's going to be talking about the book itself. The usually these kind of things have like somebody who hosts it mm -hmm. and kind of guy an audience can like I think you can like do pre pre questions. Core questions and send them in and they might answer them or they might not. So um yeah, that that's look that's something to look forward to. And then Go forward, he's going to be going back into the Umbrella Academy. Mm -hmm. Final season. Mm -hmm. um, and they have rewritten the script to take on board his transition mm -hmm. and the they character. They did that last season, uh, which was they did it really well and really sensitively. They had the whole, mm. some people struggled with it, some people just accepted it. And mm. you know, I, I enjoy the Umbrella Academy anyway, mm. just because it's just my world. Mind porn for you, isn't it? It is mind porn for me. Do you like the monkey man? When you say the monkey man, do you mean the monkey that... that not, the, not the actual chimp that talks. The, chimp, okay. the man that has a gorilla body. Yes, but only because he was in... Um, he was Lancelot in King Arthur. You know, the Merlin thing that BBC oh. did. He was in that. Oh, OK. It was a bit. Last bit of celebrity news. Another <laughs> reality TV show. Yay! Yay! This one's called So Fierce. OK. So, we're used to seeing Drag Race reality TV show competitions mm -hmm. where it's all about looks and the outfits and stuff. But the majority of drag queens Can't don't so. tend to make their own outfits. They have like a designer or a team of designers mm -hmm. <clears throat> that make them for them. So there's a new new series called Sophia's. There's the, the, the sort of promo poster for it. And what's happening is it's a drag race show with a difference, putting eight drag designers under the spotlight. Okay. So it's kind of like, um, it's a bit like RuPaul's Drag Race, but it's making the, the outfits. Challenges. Yeah. So um, it's it's a Canadian series. It's on Fruit TV, which is a newish um, LGBTQ plus um, 
television channel. Um, and it sees the eight of the world's top drag designers compete to win their first ever drag designer competition and a cash prize of $10,000, which isn't a lot of money. Well, RuPaul started off with 20000 Yeah. A challenge win now. Yeah. So what they do is they create a, a look based on a weekly theme mm -hmm. um, and they are assisted by guest appearances from um, queer celebs like Priyanka um, and a, there's a, a very famous Vancouver-based fashion designer, Evan Clayton. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of pictures here. This is one of the actual outfits okay. um, that was created by the the gentleman. He's called John Wills. Um, that's kind of his aesthetic. They are gas masks. They are gas masks. Mm. In yeah. Intimate areas. In the intimate area of which, one's... to be fair, in in summertime, I need one of them in that area because whiff. Bit salt and vinegary. Oh no, it's not even salt and vinegary. It's, it's full on fecundity. It's possibly a dead body. Mm. Well, this if if this is your is this your thing, then it is now streaming on Fruit, um, which says it is the best LG. <laughs> that was Paul sniggering, am I? So it's now available to stream on Fruit, which is the best. It, they say it's the best LGBTQ plus content in the UK and Ireland. There is a price. That is a price. I don't know why okay. I said it like that. It's about two ninety nine a month. Okay. Should you want to see it's that? It's not that expensive. Not that expensive, and there's probably lots of of of. Amazing things to watch. Possibly. Yeah, P possibly. Don't commit yourself to it, Mike. I'm not, not going to say if there, were, if there is, because I don't know. Because they might be rubbish. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that there's an hour outfit for my crotch in the summer. But stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. And this week we're going to play a game that Lee's not yet decided, so it's a surprise for everybody. But it's time for a man who once consumed a chocolate button off the floor, or was it? It's Lee. Off you pop. Bye. Bye. Fetch red. Game of the week. So what are we playing this week, Lee? That lazy thing, Susan's roulette. Lazy Susan's question in roulette? Yeah. Okay, do you want to give Lazy Susan a spin then? Oh, oh we started? Oh, I, did, yeah. oh, I was waiting for the... Box going down. Oh, right, sorry. I'll spin it, shall I? Yeah. Da, da, da. Oh. oh. You have a choice. Hum that tune. Hum that tune. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one's that? Um, Green ones. Okay. Oh, I don't know it. After you have a go, then. Oh, um, mm -mm, oh, I don't know it. I know the song. Okay. And I know the artist, but I don't know the actual tune. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Old Town mm -hmm. Rose by Little Nas. Yeah, that was quite unusual, wasn't it? Mm. You didn't know it. That it actually came out. Oh well, yeah. That's the only. Oh, you do like a random different song. Oh, no, that's a different one. He says. <laughs> Spin it again. Oh no, it's done it again, Mike. It has. It's almost like it's waited to hum that tune. I hum that tune or 90s. Hum that tune. Oh, I don't want to. Don't know, that's how they can do it. Okay. The coronation <laughs> so two people have done cover versions uh, versions of this the actual person the original and madonna two people have done that song yeah do it again <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frozen by Madonna. No. <laughs> Big Yellow Taxi. Eh? Big Yellow Taxi. No, it's not any, any of those. No. We're giving up already. Giving up, yeah, yeah. You're giving up so easy. Um. <laughs> 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 what was that? Oh, why did it happen? <laughs> it, it was American Pie. Uh, American Pie. By either Don McLean or Madge. Only only those two versions have been done? Probably more. Yeah. They're the only ones I'm aware of. I'm going to give it a bigger spin because... <laughs> if it lands on, hold that tune again, I will wet myself laughing. Ah! 
Oh my god! Have you wait? Have you waited it? I'm just checking. Oh, I see. I don't really. I know the song again, and okay. I know the artist, but I don't really know the song. I'll go, well, have a try. Um. <laughs> No, that's not it. Um. <laughs> Can I tell you, I like, describe? No. no, I don't know it. I can't hum it, so I can't do it. It's okay. a place in um, South America. But f Alaska. No, and um, people get cigars from there. And it was sung by somebody who was in a girl band. An American girl band. Just hum it again. I don't know it. Well, just try it. You hummed something, hum whatever. Yeah, but it wasn't what it was supposed to be. No, 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 no. That's not it, but in my head, that's what it's telling me. Just do, what, do what's happening in your head. What the voices are saying to do, do that. That. No, 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 no. And that's it. That's just it. Do it again. No, 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 that was the same way that you've always put it. No, it wasn't. You have! <laughs> you've done something! You've f***ing done something to it! <sighs> right. <laughs> um, why, why are you doing an impression of Scooter from the Muppets? I don't know who that is. That's not home. Yeah, but that. It, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a DDD instead. It's not called DDD that tune, though. It's called Hum that tune. Yeah, but I'm. I cannot be held by society's constraints, so I can do but what you I can want quite easily. Is it happy birthday? You see, the thing is, you think you're being clever and funny, I and you're not. Ways you're making noises about. It's not happy birthday. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wing off then. <laughs> my fault, apparently. Oh, 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 it's, um, oh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Hey, in West Philadelphia, born and raised in a playground. That's where I spent most of my day. That one. It's only your time that you're wasting, Mike, not mine. No, I think you'll find it's everybody's time. <laughs> What's the answer, then? It's Milkshake by Kelly's. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and I'm right, it's better than yours. I had a half to charge. Yeah, and if this lands on to hum it, the hum it again, I know that something's been done to this. <laughs> it has! It, you have done something, but I can't find it. Is it under here? Is it under this bit? I hate this game. Okay. We did the poo. We did the poo. Oh, we did the poo. Well. I don't really know any other bit of it. 
What was that bit you were doing? So you did the tuneful bit and then you went... Mm, 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 like, yeah, there's like a bit in the middle that goes... I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, I'm not doing that on a turntable. Waka, waka, waka. Or a very very unhappy vagina. You see, part of it was doing Outcast Hey Yes, it's that's right. What was that bit you were doing? Mm, mm, mm. Shake it, shake, shake, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Even if you'd have said that, I would have got it from that. <laughs> oh, well, oh, what will it land on this <laughs> time? <laughs> Good grief, it's actually landed on something other than hum a tune. Barely. Nice. <laughs> What colour did Eiffel 65 sing blue. about? Okay, there we go. Because I like that song, because I'm blue, I could beat off a guy, I could beat off a guy, I could beat off a guy. Let's <sighs> it around again. The lyrics. I'm entering into that conversation to enable it. Okay. Ooh, so soundtracks or rock? On that tune. Nope. <laughs> not there. That is not the choices. Uh, rock, please. Rock. Not a kawinky dig. Okay, so, Bring Me To Life was a 2003 hit for which American rock band? Ooh. So we've got effervescence in our area there, which is the wrong, which is the type of tablet that you take. Um, effervescence. It was effervescence. Yeah. It's spelled Evan Essence. Were you into them? I think you I probably was. was into them. I was, I'm so tired of, of being here. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't remember really any of their songs. Bring me the night. They are. That's one of their songs. Wake me up inside. Wake me up and face me. Nineties. <laughs> Definitely still trying to hum that tune now. Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera were all part of which TV club in the early nineties? That would be... Pardon me. No. That would be... The yeah. Illuminati. The what? The Illuminati. No. Well, it could possibly be. The, the Masons. Rumors. No. The Schwingers. No. It was the... Uh, <laughs> oh, that was appropriate because they were children. Um, <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> um, the Mickey Mouse Club. That's enough of that. Do, do, do. So, um, stick around, because after, after this we've got what one person called the perfect advertisement for Dignitas. It's Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to brace ourselves for a pile of shite that is Crafty Queens. So, Mike, did you know that the segment that we did where I created a bowl from a bowl mm -hmm. was the most successful Crafty Queen segment ever? When you say successful, you mean the only one that worked? No, no. The, the appreciation for all of them is, is in general high. Okay. But in particular, that was one of the most uh, popular. So, today, we are gonna, we're going to <laughs> we're gonna do a variation on the bowl from a bowl. Have you, do you, do you enjoy a banana, Mike? Mm. Yeah, so I left one on the table before, so I was just finishing off. Oh, you've not eaten it all, have you? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, we'll, we'll do best as we can. Right, um, Do you ever wish, do you know what? I wish there was something I could carry my banana around in. And, my hands. Um, not just hold it in my hand, but I have something to carry in. What we're gonna I, do? I do have a banana holder. So it's a little thing, you put your banana in, and you zip it up, and then you inflate it like an armband and it keeps your banana safe and it stops it bruising. Oh, anyway, well, we're gonna make a, one that's a bespoke one that is much nicer oh. and has has that kind of oldie-worldy, crafty oh, shiz shite. about it. So, in front of you, you have a, a, um, a little pile the banana. of um, uh, strips of, of paper. Yes, I do. I have yeah. got, I've, I've sourced another banana as well. Oh, you sourced another banana? Yeah. Just, okay. So, so, you want eight of whatever colour you're going to use first, and you're going to ha place those in front of you mm -hmm. vertically. Okay. Like yes, but you need to spread them out. 
I'm going to go with seven, just so, with seven. So I'm going with seven because that's the most I have of that colour. Oh, OK. And then what you're going to do, a little bit of sellotape mm -hmm. um, at the top, just so that it stops it from moving about. Um, you can have something heavy if you have that at home, like a brick. Um, just pop that on, on the wow. Um Now take your other colour, uh -huh. okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to weave it, starting from the bottom, in and out of okay. the first colour. Okay. And then what you're going to do is move it up to the sort of like, not all the way to the top, mm -hmm. but like a couple of centimetres from the top. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to repeat that with the next seven. Repeat it or yeah. we're going to do it the same but different directions? No, the same. In and out, in and out. Yeah, but good. so the first strand yeah. I've gone over to start with. So Doesn't the second strand should go under, shouldn't it? Doesn't matter. Does it not? No. Okay. Um, and then again, leave a little a little tidgy. Which way have you done it? Okay, you've done it the same way. Okay. Do, 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 do. And this is called Wefting. No, it's, no, it's called weaving. <laughs> the weft is the um, horizontal elements that you're putting through. I did GCSE textiles and, and had to learn this sort of thing. I didn't do very well in my GCSE textiles, but I did learn the warp and the weft because that takes you how to make satin is a different um, pattern. I'm just, I'm just so no, I'm reveling in the in that fact that you did GCSE textiles, yep. aka the subject that gay children do. I was a gay child, that's why I did textiles and drama. They went little falsetto boy, little falsetto boy, come here and make some clothes for your barbie. <laughs> right, okay. Apart from that, in the choir, I wasn't falsetto of soprano. Mm. Mm. I'm only doing seven, five, six, seven. Did I'm you? on the last one now. Do, do, do. How many have I done? Let me have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've got to get get a get a. So what 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 um what score did you come out with? What's not score? What grade did you come out with in your? In textiles, a C. A C? That's not so bad. No. Yeah. Do you still own any of that that work? Little tapestry? From from the beginning of the end of last century? No. Some, pe some, pe some people do. I'm imagining that, that a tapestry with penises on. I actually made a um, three-sided pyramid cushion. Of course you did. Um, which was... Huh? Of course you did, yes. Of course you did. Yeah, um, there was a beanbag cushion because it was the late nineties. Okay. All right, and the the point, the top point folded in, so no matter which way you put it, it was in, so you could put your arm on it. So it's about like resting, watching TV. Okay. And no matter which way you had it, it was always comfortable. You put, put like that, and you have that there. Um, so there's that, and I also made a um, osteo support pillow as well. You know the big curved ones. Yeah. But were, you were, had, yeah. were you a popular child at school, Mike? I was very popular. I sucked a lot of dick. <laughs> wow. Okay, the so... Teachers loved me. <laughs> <clears throat> Not true. So, I we... had took a teacher off. <sighs> Till you left. Um, so... <laughs> there was one that I wanted to. Mr. Marshall. My God. Stuff he could do to me now. Do you, want a, do, you want a, do you want a moment? Do you want to just put cameras one, for you worry. a few seconds? <laughs> okay, right. So, we, I have finished my weaving. Okay. Um, so, you want to have them, so the ones that you've already weaved, Woven. the ones that are going horizontal, you kind of need to have them sort of slap bang in the middle so there's equal okay. parts either side. That what you're going to do is gently take off your tape from the top. Uh-huh. And then you're going to Oh, I've done it wrong. Yeah, you have. You've not, because that's what I was asking you about, whether it needed to be over and under and over and under, because the way you were doing <laughs> it, you're going over. Because you haven't woven there, you've laid pieces of cardboard down. Yeah, just, just give me a moment. <laughs> it's easier if you do it the other way. So. I don't want to, Mike. <laughs> it's all gone horribly wrong now, and it's just spoiled. You've spoiled it. And if likely you need a fact sheet, you can send a self-addressed envelope to the gates of hell, care of Lucifer. 
because nobody wants to do this really. Right, so now what you're going to do is the top bit, yeah. you're going to gather together, so one after the other, so like, do do do. Uh huh. Yeah? Okay. And then you're going to need a little bit of cellar tape. Okay. To hold that in, all in place. I should have cut the cellar tape first. That's my tip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it on the end of my nose. That's another tip. Okay, I've done that. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna repeat that mm -hmm. on the bottom as well. Now, does it matter which way I put these in order? So if I put the top one on, is the far right one? Does the far right one need to be on the bottom this time? Um, I, I, I'm going to say I don't. It doesn't matter, Mike. But you are the um, <laughs> you are the expert. This is the answer. In, um, in case you're wondering at home, the answer textiles. is yes. Then, when you've done that, uh huh, the other side bits. Yeah. You're going to do the same. As in, gather them up yeah. into a point like that. Yeah. We're not going to be putting them together in a in a over. Yeah, we are, but it, it might be easy just to have them attached ready. Okay. That's one side. Do this side. A little bit exciting now because I thought I'd ballsed it up big time. But you just balls it up a little bit. I just balls it up a little bit. Granted, it's not going to win any any weaving awards. Nothing we would do would win an award. Okay. So once you've once you've done that with the the two sides, yeah, you're going to bring them over the top of each mm -hmm. other because you float a little basket, and then you're going to you're going to attach those with um, secure those with a with a little adhesive. No, with um, some tape. With some tape. Have you got any strips of, of uh, paper left? I have one singular. Oh, okay. Because you could, left. if should you desire, mm -hmm. glue that from one egg, one end. No, like I'm going to use sellotape because I don't think the the tape will the yeah. But one one of the end, sellotape a bit of strip. Okay. And then do it to the other side. So you've got a little handle. Handle. Little handle. And then just for a little bit of decoration, I'll glue that on. Just for a little bit of decoration. I've, I've got a, a butterfly, an origami butterfly, and I'm going to stick that. You just call it an origami butterfly. An origami butterfly. Okay. I'm going to stick that in the centre. Oh, now that looks beautiful, but the proof is will it carry a banana? Okay. Are you ready? I am. Insert your banana into the basket. No loop. Ta-da! It's a banana hammock. Remember, if in the unlikely event that you cannot get any peen or any vagine, be a crafty queen. So oh, that's got a bit of a Because mine's actually like woven together. You're all right. Weave queen. Um, Which is what they normally call you. <laughs> but that's because of the wigs. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Little banana.